everyone, welcome. I'm Quinn and today we're gonna make a Coraline sweater on the Centro. If you saw my last video, then you know that I've been planning this and I'm so excited about it. I wanted to make this because my Animal Crossing Island that I'm making is Coraline themed, or at least that's what I'm attempting. And I just really wanted to be on theme with my island. That's my dream right now. That's my short-term goal. Be on theme with my Animal Crossing Island. I have all of my yarn here. I have more, but this is just to show you. Um, it's, I've showed it before, it's gorgeous. I think it's perfect for this sweater. And then I have my Centro, you can't see it, but it's just right over here next to me. And then I have this little sketch that I made on my iPad, just general what I want it to look like. So if you don't know what sweater I'm talking about, it's, it looks like that. It's the one that she wears, um, it's blue and it has white stars on it. Um, iconic, honestly. So general plan is I need to measure a sweater that I already have to get general measurements for what I want the sweater to be like in the end. I need to make a gauge swatch so I know how many rows and stitches I need to do and how many panels I need to do. Obviously make all of the panels and the tubes for the sleeves and then assemble it all and make stars and then sew those on. Oh, and I have to make a collar. I'm hoping to finish this in one day, but we'll see. So let's get started because there is a lot to do. <laughs> to my desk and I'm ready to start making a gauge swatch. So I'm gonna try to make like a four by four square with this yarn, which by the way, I never said what yarn this is. It's a retweed from Mayan brand in the color Dutch blue, if you wanna use this same yarn. But I'm making the gauge swatch just because it's gonna help me know how many stitches and rows I need for each panel and tube to get the size that I want. So let's make a gauge swatch. <sighs> okay, I think that this is a good enough swatch to measure with. This yarn, now I do Still, I love the way it looks and I do like the way it feels, but it is a challenge in this machine. The swatch I have so far looks amazing. Like I'm happy with the swatch, but it was a lot. It was a lot. Maybe I could weigh, I could maybe add some weights to the bottom and that would help pull it down. I'm determined to make it work. So I'll take the gauge off of the machine so that y'all can see it because it really does look nice. Here is the swatch that I have. And I mean, like, it looks really beautiful, right? Like, it looks really good. It was just um, a lot of work to get it to this point. So now I need to measure this and count how many stitches and rows I have so that I can figure out how many stitches and rows I need for my actual sweater. Okay, so I have 11 stitches 
and 14.75 rows for a four by four square. So now time for the super fun part, doing a little bit of math to figure out exactly what I need to do for the finished sweater. take a little break from making the sweater uh, because I'm hungry so I'm gonna make a little bit of lunch and I will meet y'all later I've had my lunch I've made the gauge swatch and I have figured out the measurements of my sweater so let's finally get into actually making this sweater. I need to make four panels. Each panel needs to be 11 inches wide or 30 stitches wide. Uh, this is a 48 pin machine and I need the front and the back to both be 60 stitches wide. That's why I have to do four panels, but I also have to do ribbing on the bottom. I don't have to, but I want to do ribbing on the bottom. It took me uh, way longer to make my lunch than I was expecting. Uh, meal prep takes just a while. So it's already 3.30. It's gonna get dark probably in a couple hours. So we'll see how far I get. This might have to be a two day project. So I've done 14 rows on my first panel so far, and I need to do 66 total. Um, so I'm gonna try to get going on this before it gets too dark out, and we will probably be finishing this sweater tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hi, I know it's dark, but I came back because I figured something very important out. Let me show you. I added clothespins to the bottom of my project to weigh it down. This morning when I was making the gauge swatch and I was like all frustrated with the yarn being difficult, I thought I should add some weights to the bottom of my project when I'm making it so that the project doesn't want to like lift off the pins as easily. And then I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But then now I just remembered. And so I know, I know that I said I would see you tomorrow, but it was too exciting. I had, I had to share right now and I've been doing like a few rows. Oh my God. It's so much easier. Put weights on your project. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I'm back. So last night I finished one panel, the one panel that I was working on. This morning, I made a second panel and I had the weights on it like the whole time and it went by so much quicker. Today, I still have to make two more panels for the back and two sleeves, a collar, and then a bunch of stars to go all over it and then sew everything together. So there's a bit to do still but I think that I can finish it today. I'm contemplating making the back two panels longer than the front two panels, 
just, I don't know, I, I feel like maybe it would fit a little better that way. So I'm going to pin them together and then try them on and see what I think. Because I don't want to start the next two panels until I know what length I want them to be. It looks pretty good. I, I think I like the length like this. Um, I don't think that I need to make the back panels uh, any longer. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm just gonna make two more panels exactly like this. my panels done now so it's time to join them together I'm gonna join two of the panels together down the middle for the front two of the panels together down the middle for the back and then those two panels that have been joined um, I'm going to join part way up the sides and then part way on the shoulders leaving room for the neck and the arms. Good morning again. I am back for a third day of trying to make this Coraline sweater. I did not think that it was going to take this long, but I will be finishing it today. I know I keep saying that, but I will finish this sweater today. Last night, I attached all of the panels together. So after I eat my bagel, I will try it on for y'all and then we can make the sleeves and the collar, sew those together and then make the stars and sew those on. Here it is. I'm really happy with it so far. I love this way of joining it, of like joining all the panels. That was new for me. I've never done that way of joining before. You don't use any extra yarn, which is nice. And then it lays, like the seam lays so flat, you know, like I feel like it's hard to tell where the seam is, or at least like harder than when I would do it, the way I would do it before when I would just slip stitch the panels together. I am happy with it so far, but there is still a bit to do. So I'm gonna make some sleeves and then I'll come back. Okay y'all, we're making decent time. I got these two sleeves done and then I have the body done here and you know, all joined. So it's time to join the sleeves to the sweater. And then probably I'm going to remove all of the waste yarn. So I'll go around all of the like raw edges and um, do like slip stitches or maybe single crochets uh, and then remove all of the waste yarn to get all these loose threads out of here. Uh, it's not even lunchtime yet so I think we're, we're making good time.
got both sleeves attached and I removed all of the waist yarn. So to remove the waist yarn, I just slip stitched all along like the bottom of the sleeves, the bottom of the whole sweater all around. And then I also went ahead and did it on the neckline just because I just wanted to get rid of the waist yarn and I thought it might be a little easier to add the collar if the waist yarn was gone. I'm going to make the collar now and attach that and then I'll make all of the stars and attach those all over the all over the sweater and then it's finished. I realized that I never showed you all the collar before I started trying to put it on my sweater. Uh, so I'm gonna just attach it to my sweater and then show you all what it looks like. Okay, this is uh, what the collar looks like now that it's sewn on. So I just slip stitched it all the way around. I just did the ribbing uh, all along it and then I slip stitched on the top two to remove the waist yarn so it has the same like finished edge as um, the sleeves and the bottom of the sweater. Now the final thing that we have to do is make a bunch of stars and sew them on and then we're finished and I will have a Coraline sweater. Have all my stars. I think I made 20 of them total. Uh, I was just using some kind of like white scrap yarn that I had but I didn't have enough of this color to make all of the stars that I wanted for my sweater so I used a little bit of this other kind of scrap yarn. Both of these are Woolies from Lion Brand. Um, I don't remember what the colors are called, but this is what they look like. And it looks very nice with the blue on this sweater, I think. Um, here's a little, yeah, I think it looks very nice. So I'm going to lay out this sweater and just kind of like place where I think I'd like the stars to be. And then I'm gonna pin them in place and go in and I'm just gonna sew each of the five points down on each star. I think that that will be enough. that it's finally finished, technically. I have a couple uh, loose strands of yarn in here that I need to weave in, but I wanted to catch the last little bit of daylight so that I could show y'all the finished, basically finished product. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's so cute, look, look at these big sleeves and I love the cropped length and all these stars all over the place. I'm just, after three days of working on this sweater, I can't believe it's finally finished. This yarn was definitely a pain to work with in the machine, but I think it was worth it. Cause I just like the color of this yarn and like these like hot pink little spots and little white spots in here like it's so it's just so cute and it's really like soft and comfortable just like every part of this i'm so happy with oh and i here i changed my pants too if y'all saw 
a little styling, I guess, style my new sweater. I thought it looked nice with my white pants because of my nice white stars all over this. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of my sweater. Would you make something like this? Let me know if you'd like more Centro knitting machine videos or maybe you'd prefer more crochet videos. Just let me know. I'm going to go play some Animal Crossing now. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.